prophet shall do this for us. We change your life if you listen, listen, because it has already changed my life. Every time I come here, I'm a different person. I change every day. And I, when I say that, I, 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 I kid you not, I change every day. The only permanence in life is change. You don't resist change, but if you resist change, you resist progress. You have to change. And I know it's Sunday morning, but we're going to speak at all the levels. Everybody will get together with something. Walk us through with a little bit. But it's Sunday morning, and I'm happy you came. I'm happy to be in church. If you're happy to be in church, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know some people are here at the back register. They're just waiting for that to go and be right. The Brazil is not far. And some people just go and just say, oh, I'm not the job. I'm not the job. My conscience is not the job. If you are like that, I didn't come for you. I didn't come for people. I got the job. I came for people that do the might be very serious. And that working with God is a very serious matter. You know, some people, some Christians, when they are doing they say, no, 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 this business thing is not bring God here. Those are very dangerous people. Don't impress with people like that. They are very dangerous. That is, they put on Christianity off and they put it off. But you can't put off Christianity. You have to sleep in your Christianity. You have to wake up in it. You have to live in it till the day you see Jesus face to face. Once you put on Christianity, don't do it all. Put it on everywhere you go. Anything that Jesus doesn't like, don't do it. Any place you don't go, no go. In Jesus' mighty name. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have we said? Okay. Can I try to control? Yes, it's working, I mean. It's working. I like to be charged. Child, praise God. Well, why would you want to pray? Okay, that's okay. So, if you are sitting on the wrong side, you can move. Then, <laughs> this side, you are the wrong side. Though. This one is very right about the past. So, move it to the front. It's always in the front. You know, they carry second. So, you don't want to have one Praise God. I want to start by saying that in this election, I've not seen her for so long. It's a pleasure to see you. God bless you, man. He's my friend, since he's not married to my friend. He's not married to my friend. <laughs> so you hear my friend because he's married to my friend. <laughs> but it's a very pleasant thing. I've enjoyed our friendship, my wife and I. So we're, we're very, we don't see a lot, but we're so deeply connected. But every time I see Pastor Moniz, I see nothing at <laughs> So it's because of what we call affinity, relationship, it's something that is divine. May God take all the honor, all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Yeah. Before I go for I want to tell you something about your pastor. In fact, I, I forgot to that. Well, I have a gift. I got a pack of my books. I know you have some, but I brought in foreign, foreign print, Amazon print, of books, all of them. Um, what I like about him is that he's one of those who that paint on their feet. Mm-hmm. Somebody else likes that, that is the envy of you, like Pastor Kyle. If any of them was telling me, don't say, let me back up. If you ask special, you ask you. <laughs> He thinks on his feet. He's not going to. Not that he doesn't pray, but many things are not prayer for. They're doing points. <laughs> doing points. And I love. And the only way to do that is hear me big pray. Anybody that thinks on his feet, is either they have a lot of life experience or they have a big brain or a combination of that. How many of us know? I know this church, but don't feel bad because I'm going to say so many things today. How many of us know Warren Buffett? He's one of the wealthiest men. They call him the wizard from where? The wizard of Omaha. Oma. Now, he has a, a partner. What's the partner's name? Kalimanga. Now, you know what his partner says about him? He says, My partner has read so much that the only question you ask him, you ask him today. <laughs> He's read so widely. He's read everything. He read so widely. Do you know why I believe it? Me, I've not read as him. But I'm able to answer many people now, up to 80%. So I can imagine him who is much older, much. I mean, very well. Right? My brother went to Harvard Business School. So when he was in school, he came and spoke to them. So he's a wise man, but he's wise not because he was born wise. He became wise on that by reading and reading and reading. In Nigeria, people read to get certified. After certification, they stop reading. That's why we know they manufacture everything. In America, they don't go to school, but they, they manufacture everything. You know what? Let me tell you a story. I know it's Sunday morning. Don't be offended. There's a bank in South Africa. It's called Amalgated Amalgated Bank of South Africa. Absa, Absa. He knows the present person. He's a simple fund manager. When they first came to Nigeria, 
They walked through the bank, the doors. You know those security doors. That's right. They told them the moment they left the gate, they said, after the gate, every person walking in the bank you see has a face in it. Minimum in Nigeria. The bank will not employ you without, and maybe, maybe, maybe change their own But nobody walks in the bank in Nigeria without something. I need to invest on my own. But you know those absolutely that most of them don't go to school. They live on the job. I've seen investors come to Nigeria from South Africa, good business. Some of their highest managers didn't have any, don't, do not have any certificate. But when they write the letter, it's as if they went to their, their Queen's Council. But they don't live on the job. The interest is not on certification, it's on knowledge. Okay, so don't be a typical Nigerian. Just go, I went to Lise, Lise. I did a course in computer science, CS201 or something, Fortran, all those things. I don't see computer. We do group exercise. And I, I don't even know what grade I got, but I passed when I graduated. I don't come down. I know. We just be calm. We just up and down, up and down. How can you do computer? You don't see what's going on. But for Nigeria, it's happening. I didn't see. I didn't go to computer lab. I didn't see computer. But I passed the course. I'm even going to be crazy. What do you do? You just be up and down, up and down. Say, what? 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 What is happening? You don't know, you know, talk, wait, wait, wait. They give us sign, man. You don't know, talk, bring her, bring her, come in. <laughs> May God help us in Jesus' mighty name. So, I, I, I'm, I'm over 50 now. I was born three months to the end of the Nigerian Civil War. So, I remember growing up. It's amazing. When I was young, when I see somebody that is 50, they look so ancient. I didn't think I was 50. He says it's 50, I should say 50 years. I didn't know that come by come. I didn't know. Come by come. But you know, as I lived life, I took a trip from Lagos to King. In Lagos, I attended an academy by a pastor, a very successful pastor. They had um, level one, basic academy, they had advanced. I did basic in June. I did advanced in September 2005. I was so proud of life. The first class I did was on personal transformation. It changed my life so much. I was so excited. And it was powerful because when I started selling my brother, who took his own classes from Harvard University, he said, Where did you get that book? But the day I told him, God said, They came to church. They were not preaching. They came to hear me. When I finished, he said, ah, Where did you get this from? I said, Ah, from Luna. He said, This one, I was taught in business school. They are talking about it like this. He said, Wow. He was impressed. Power of knowledge. Then I now traveled from Lagos to King and met another pastor. That's my pastor, the, high, the largest uh, evangelical church in all of Europe. 20,000 members. 40,000 in Kid alone. Maybe 50,000 in all of Ukraine. Simple man. He was my chief host with his lovely wife. So I sat with him for one minute. The, first, when I, the day I arrived, he spoke, he said to me, how long are you staying? I said, 10 days. He said, 10 days? From Nigeria to Kim? Lagos, if I stay there, you have to do one more. I said, no. Hi. I said, I'm married. This is 2006. My oldest child is four years. Then, all of you, we have three children. So, four years, three years, and um, 2006, one year. So, I said, that, my wife, we have a young family. How can I leave my wife for one month? He said, okay. I said, okay, let me talk to my wife. My wife said, stay as long as you want. So, I said, okay, three weeks. They adjusted my ticket and all that. But as, you know, as I spent time with him, I found out uh, I'm just coming from a class. This is 2006, um, around October. I did classes June and September of the previous year. And the feeling I got and my sense when I was in that ministry uh, is exactly what I was feeling. But this one, they don't know each other so well. How come they are behaving alike? What do they have in common? And both churches were exploding with God. I took notice of that. They are the same many have in common. They are not talking to each other. Then I looked around me. I walked with three people, framed by the same man. It's now late, the great man. They are framed, two trained with Arthur Anderson. One person trained with Anderson Consulting. Then eventually, another person trained with Anderson became four. He trained with Arthur Anderson too. And I worked with them. I was the founding executive director of our organization, an NGO. One person was chairman, who had never another person who was also who became second chairman. So when I have meetings with them, I go to one and I say, 
What do you think about this? You give me an answer. When I go to the next person, the answer is the same. All the time. They are functioning from the same template. But these are principles. After a while, I don't ask for them, I just ask why. And I'm okay. Because they give me, always give me the same answer. So I said, what's going on? Then I started looking. You know Pele? Who knows Pele? Pele. Not Pele, not a Pele Pele, or who is a great player. But Pele, I don't know the real one. The real Pele, right? That's why he's Pastor Bumi. <laughs> now watch this. What Pele? What does Pele and Messi have in common? What does Pele and Ronaldo have in common? What does Pele and Jenny Okocha have in common? Do you know they have a lot in common? Okay, what, what about what about Ronaldo and Messi? They have a lot in common. First of all, they are gifted. They have a God-given talent for soccer. Their sense of soccer is legendary. No academy in the world could have taught them what they know about soccer. In fact, of Pelé of Brazil, they said that when he played, he played his last match in 1970 and he lifted the trophy. Now, they said that he understood the culture of the ball. When the ball is coming, Pelé knows exactly what to do. Oh my God. I played soccer. When you play soccer, your mind is sharp. When you sleep at night, you can't sleep properly because you are seeing ball coming. I was a winger. I played for my primary school, we were not too much, but my second school I played. So I understood. I, I was a winger. Outside that, I played soccer. I played soccer so much that my mother thought that soccer could be played. Okay, but the thing is so consuming. There was a summer. Throughout that summer, they used to beat me every day because before they wake up in the afternoon, I don't go. And throughout the day, they will not see me because when you play, it's called choosing. They choose you when you get tired, you go and do it. What are they wrong? You play with a woman, you come and balance. They choose you again. You play from morning till night. When you're hungry, they nearly stop. You go there. Whatever they have is your own. You chop, you come back to the field. By the time they see me, it's at 8 p.m. When I come back, my other one, they'll meet me. Next morning, I don't go again. And in every month, I'm not exaggerating. I don't even know. It goes so consuming. I think if they pay, they don't pay me enough. So, okay, it's consuming. But what do you so in every field? Now let me tell you something else. When Professor Kumi was doing um, his accounting exam, I can, there was a colleague of his, a very legendary story. This colleague, he went to commit to Dubai. He also made a distinction because he was, he was my other brother's friend and, and classmate. My brother made aggregate 13. He missed distinction by one. He did a grade one. This guy made a decision, the best of my knowledge, I made it wrong. But even if he didn't make a decision, he's going to go to my A1. So he made, so he made a distinction. But, in, but now I confirm. Do you know that he came to Ife? He left Ife before I arrived. But he did a five year program. I came to Ife. He finished 79. 79 plus 5 is 84. So he left 84. I came the next year. I was still hearing his name in Ife. He studied engineering, first class. Boom. You know, first class, they passed first class sometimes. He made a sizzling first class. Then he came. He's not a person in the area. He joined an accounting firm. And was, they were doing exams together. Ica. The rest of the story he will tell later. But all I know is that that time, Ica was still at the foundation of P1, P2. I don't know what they do now, but this was in the 80s. I think he must have come, but we must have confessed, or whatever. He must have beat him. Stage one, stage two. So, but I think that's stage two. This is how I heard the story. No, he's not going to go to the story. They said that they finished the exam. And that Bumi just went down. That time, another person, Bumi just went down, was drinking and smoking. The guy saw him, he said, Ah, you drink? Ah, you smoke? Ah, you are drinking it. That time, the guy is a Christian. He said, If you don't drink it, ah, you are drinking it. They are smoking. Ah, you are drinking it. No! The guy, the last stage, I think he beat Pastor Bumi. Final stage. But what did they have in common? What were they winning prizes? My brother won prizes. My brother is a doctor. Two guys can won prizes. But he came from a generation of people that won prizes. He was not the only one. In the family he passed through, many of them were prize winners. How come? Templates, principles, the man that trained them. Let me take a story for that. I learned. My brother eventually he studied medicine, finished from UNT, came to Lagos, joined the pharmacy, won prizes as a doctor, writing actor. You know, you know, you know the final state. You write the exam with Supreme Court Study Accounting for four years in university. Because that final state, even in the state foundation, they can't see the final state. They can never check and without the final. So you can you imagine somebody studying accounting for four years? Why is he doing accounting? You are doing medicine. 
They want to join in the class. They are not the same age. Yes. And you come and be the person. Ah, something is wrong. Who trained that person? Ah, how can you understand that kind of so much? Of course, some intelligence, but there's some training there. Because they used to go to Michael Clinton for training. That person I thought of the engineer. When my brother eventually came, even there were classmates from Sunday school. He was already a lecturer at my He was my brother. But I said, you know, whatever you're talking about, hear this. My elder brother, when he comes to business school, one of the best in the world, how about business school? You know, out of 800 students, 800 is already. He was the best student in finance, in his cohort, the entire 800 class. How do I know? He called me because only one person wins the bread. He said, they just called me. I said, you are the best student in finance. We have $6,000 of fast free money. This is 1993. Second year. I said to him, I hope you give me something money. He said, yes, I'll buy this school. And I'll send you money. He said, true story. He said, that's another story. And they said, well, How is that? The next dropped out of Harvard, you know that. So did um, Facebook father, what's his name now? Look up from the right back. Mark. He's a young man. Whether he's 40, I don't know, but I know he's not 40. He's not 40. He's a very young man. What do they have in common? They again said, as a student, I saw where the world was going. I left school and went and waited for the world, and they're coming to me now. And one of them will come to me. I have Microsoft Office, $100 a month by Parano. You don't want to to pay. You don't pay every, every day for me. They shut you up. You will never die for. What do they have in common? Then I started wondering. I, I was a science student. I did biology, chemistry, physics. Why are science so important? Do you know why? Some scientists are so famous. They died a long time ago, but most people know their names. I see who you say. What about my grandfather's name? Marie Curie. I've never seen this before, but see, I've never forgotten their name. I have no physics, so what about Albert Einstein? What about Gardino Gardino? The man called the king's name of my brother. You know my brother? He's just a famous scientist. He's a famous man. Why are they so famous? Because each of these will discover laws. And the laws they discover help us to understand the world. It means that scientists are messengers from God that help us interpret the world. But what got my attention is that their discoveries are called laws. They are, not, they are not suggestions. Do you understand? They are called what they say. I see this laws of motion. Even though physics has advanced beyond, it's still called, it was the basis of mechanics. The things he did, without him, automobile industry would not grow. The Wright brothers would not have made the claim if they didn't understand I see this work. So watch this. So, what are these laws? Why are they called laws? Well, in Genesis chapter 8, verse 22, I can read from my Bible. You read from the Bible. Listen to our slide. Okay, understanding the laws of Jesus. I'm giving you the foundation. Genesis 8, verse 22. God said, as long as, wow, as long as the earth remains, these things cannot cease. These things shall not spoil it. Watch it, read it now. Why do they not see? As long as the earth remains, blah 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 da 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 come from man and gather bush. As long as the earth remains, man up so go to go to go ya. Bo 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 bo. As long as the earth remains, oh my God, oh my God. People think that you you rise in life by struggling. No, you don't need to struggle. When you struggle, you don't know the laws. Read for me. While the earth remains. While the earth remains. And have oh my God! Whatever you sow, you shall reap. Let me tell you something. When I was in primary school, my youngest brother was in primary. When I was in primary four, he came back one day. He said, "My brother, I want to teach you something." He said, "What are you talking about?" He said, "That's what they talk about." He said, "No, whatever you sow in this life, you reap." Wow. Primary one, he was only four years old. He said, "What are you talking about?" People go to church. They know this. They don't practice it. Listen, when you cheat somebody in the market, somebody will cheat you in the market. Whatever you sow, you may not reap where you sow. You may not reap when you sow, but you must reap what you sow. You know the meaning? I'm running ahead of myself because of time. It means that when you need money, what you sow is money. If you need money, and you say, I don't have money, and you're just sowing laughter, laughing about, you will not be living laughter. Every place you go, people will laugh with you, but what a 
I will show you. If you need money and you're nice, everybody will be nice to you, but your pocket will go dead because you're sowing nicely. You don't sow money. So you don't sow money because you have. You sow money because that's what you want to read. Right. So you can't come to church, bring that offering. Say, I don't have. After you don't have, you don't give you. I got my 50 cm of Miranda. You don't know that that, thing, that 100 naira, you should have suffered pain and put it in the offering. It will not be long. Oh, yes. Listen to me. Yes. Many years ago, 1985 or so, my mother called my young elder brother and said, We're having harvest in the village. Come and be chairman. He said, I don't have. But I called my friend. His friend was not much richer. That one collected money, 10,000 naira, and put in the offering as chairman. The next day, my mother said, No, I'll be the chairman this year. That man that gave 10,000 naira, he's alone. He stammers a bit, but he's a millionaire in Naira. He doesn't have many clients as an African. She was in a period of 10 years. He had only one client. But if he's out in um, one of our more than a million dollars in this country, he did so much work with one client. They used to say, Are you sure? He said, Check your books now. Because you took OD from the bank to do the work. But they're not paying. By the time they see the total invoices, they can't believe it. Only, and the money wasn't working on the show work, not your work. But he was a multinational. Up to today, he's very successful. One of the laws he knows very well is showing a little. Showing a little. He built a restaurant and told me as pastor, if I go there, eat any time in my name, because I'm showing it to your life of ministry. Oh, I don't wow. abuse it. Hey. But why is he doing this? He's a stupid man. A little man is there. Have you seen a little man? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> See the one, he doesn't even want to put it. But he knows that I have guests that came abroad. They just left. I took them there to eat. I called him if I was a I'm going to eat. We will share the bill. After we ate, one of the people paid money. He read it. I called and said, This is balance. What you say, if you have, if you don't have, I'll take all of it. I said, I will, I will, I will pay some because not only you will be blessed, I will be blessed. Yes. As long as the earth remains, big for us. See, time I have as much. Oh my God. Cold and deep. Can I say something to you? I think I'm wrong. When I travel back in a few weeks, two weeks, exactly two weeks today, I can't enter America. Like, if I enter like this, I will die. The cold does come. Wait, I don't enter. I will be wearing. My children say, Daddy, you're never cold. Like I say, yeah, because I'm wearing the gas. I, they say that cold doesn't kill. It's how you dress that will kill you. And that's what they call Long John. You know my name is John. They say it's a Long John. I have that many of them. I never grew up without that place. Long browser, long. Sometimes I wear short sleeves, but this is showing you. When you wear it, you will warm your body. If I wear that thing, when I wear it abroad, I come to Nigeria. Once I enter Nigeria, I'll be sweating like Christmas food. I have to quickly get the movie. Cold and heat, summer. Read on. Winter and summer. Winter and summer. You have to live in the border to understand it. In Nigeria, we don't get winter and summer. We get Amata and Amata and Amata and Amata. <laughs> The man said, I told this. When I was growing up, when I went to Africa, if in the morning you used to bath naked outside, if you pour water, none will touch your body. Just like this. Water will touch your hand. Amateur will be boo! If you wash your shirt, you'll be watching your shirt dry. When I was growing up, you wash the shirt, put it in the line. You watch it dry in 10 minutes. Not the imagination. Amateur was blowing. Now, I don't know where maybe it's global warming or something. But, he says, Winter and summer, winter and summer, shall not see video. And day and night. Day, every day must give back to night. And every night, why is it that God said that this is where you're not seeing this? Do you know why? Because there are inviolable laws. Anybody that violates them at their own peril. All the videos in this world, if they gather and have a conference and say, this night will not produce day. They will just make themselves ashamed of themselves. Because when it's time for day, the day will just break naturally. God will not move a finger. No church needs to pray. The night will produce day. But it's not, it's not a prayer point, the big point. God set it up in the heavens. It's a long story. Powerful. They are called the laws of the universe. These laws, if you discover them, it will advance that society. If you observe them, you will naturally rise to the top without fasting. Somebody, where that jungle is out? He can't get 
blessing teacher, they read, they go listen. Somebody else, in front of the pastor, then they fight, then they pray, then they fight, then they pray. But the person knows they read. I will tell you the result before they take the exam. See, that one, when they fast, they pray. He might pass. If the lecturer is so happy with his wife, he said, if this boy is self, well, I don't know what's wrong with you, but I hear it. He just passed it. But if he's angry, he said, this is my, this is boy, this boy, he don't feel without. But the other one, if the lecturer is angry and marks him down, he can challenge the result. When I was an infant, my younger brother was three years or so, three years my junior. Mass 101, or mass, we used to feel the more than white power. One of his classmates, who made the first class eventually, they left around me. In one of the classes, he, he, he got like he's only A. The lecturer was teaching. He said, Sir, I got 100%. He said, ah, Why are you talking to my class? Do you know me? Then I went back and reviewed. I went, Yeah, because he got 100. Because when you know it, even a sadist professor cannot mark you down. It's funny. So your jump score was not determined by angel. Now you determine that. If you want to score higher, study more, you score higher. No demon can stop you from passing when you're studying. That demon has never been born. One plus one is two. Let the demon be demonized into seven places. One plus one is two. Nothing can change that. Nothing can change. Two times five is ten. Let the demon be rotating like this. It's ten. Whatever goes up is coming down. If you like higher demons, you will still come down. So even demons have limitations. Even the devil has limitations. These are laws, inviolable laws. How can Dubai be a first world country and Nigeria is playing the most? Largest auditorium, largest prayer meeting, largest physical concert, largest churches, and Nigeria doesn't have power. Three megawatt. And Dubai has concerts of prayer power. If it's a person, if not demon, they cause trouble. These people, they don't know God. If for the devil for the least of Dubai, it shows that life on earth are governed by fixed laws, not devil. Laws! Now that my children move abroad, I can understand it. Everything they teach them, they apply it. In America, you can't do my practical application. Every small thing, they apply it. I did my practice. I finished primary. This secondary is class four. I did for additional mathematics. I did enter university. I did not go to the level. Application, not do what I want. Did they apply? No. Do you know in Nigeria that roadside mechanics, fixed cars for mechanical engineer? Within somebody, you know, goes to the physical. The person that mechanical engineer, he get masters, he can't do sister. He doesn't even do study as a coronation before the study that you know. He doesn't remember it. He just goes to office and be doing the work. And he has a car, he has a problem. He just says, you, you will fix my car. Ah, what you do? What should be fixing the other person? You should be fixing him. He's not be fixing him. You have a master with mechanical engineers. So these are laws. These are principles. So what is a law? The way I say a law is a principle that when the conditions are met, it's activated. Law and principles, they are synonymous. What is a principle? A principle. Why is this not true? Okay, this is scripture. Okay. Well, a fundamental truth or proposition that serves as the foundation for a system of belief. Principles. Scientists discover laws and we apply them as principles. So I want to give us, I want to run through the laws and focus on the few. I can't cover them all because of time. This time is correct. Okay, so there's law one, law of thought. Two, of what? Number three, of time. Number four, of causes. Number five, law of vision. Number six, law of faith. Number seven, of systems. Number eight, of law of conversion. Number nine, law of context. Number ten, law of action. Number 11, law of prayer. Number 12, law of resistance. Number 13, law of attraction. Number 14, law of sowing and reaping. Number 15, law of focus. Number 16, law of marriage. But then, I can't go back, so I go back to law number one. So we do have a four or five today. Okay, law of thought. Thoughts is the beginning of all creation. The 
You can't rise above your God. The reason you are poor in this suit now is not because of money. And then one man is doing so much because he has understood something. The problem is money. So, mm-hmm. every problem, whether it's cement, toothpaste, or sand, pure water, in my day inside. Road construction, no what? There are no roads. Whoever saw the road for them to believe, there's no life. It is all proper. So, the key to success is not running for problems, it's running towards problems. Anybody that's here that does not have a business they do for him, that brings them money every day, is going to be poor for a very long time to come. When I was growing up, I told people sell in front of the house because they didn't go to school. I didn't know that trading, everybody was trading something. Not some people, everybody, the Jews are like that. What do you see? If you make the market and you are buying, buying, but you are not selling, you will die poor. <laughs> Did you hear me? You let them back in, you buy, you buy, you buy, like, you buy, this, you buy. You say, okay, what did you bring to market? You say, you say, nothing, say, I know book. Book will never deliver you. The more book you know, the less money you have. The professors are not as rich as your students. <laughs> now, students, they sustain the professor. Ask anybody. <laughs> when the boy is when they make money, they go from you. I put you on the bottom of my company. They are not of the two companies, not even the students now. When my brother finished, they say it's going to become DBA, doctor of business. I have to go and make money. Like that. <laughs> How did you just be talking and be breaking job? <laughs> <laughs> you know the job DBA. DBA is not a good mansion. You want to have a mansion, you have to work very hard. Now, watch this law of thoughts. How do you think? I was poor until I changed my thinking. It's not, your being well is not how much money. It's not about just about network. It's not about friend, friend, friendship work. Resource blue. Can I say something to you? Don't laugh at me. See, as for the community now, I can never be poor because it's my friend. There is no problem I have that I call it without high school. You don't believe me. If I need money, it may not give me billions. It gives me money. I ask. It doesn't give me because he has so much money. Because he understands and he believes in me and he knows that I'm not a liar. I did conference, cost millions, 22 million, I don't know how much. I've done three already. Listen, I didn't have 30,000 in my bank account, but if I'm doing conference of 22 million, one pastor, a mentor, a friend, he gave me 5 million by himself. So he gave me 1 million, and what does he give me 1 million? I was begging his pay. He said to me, if I give you less than 2 million as a businessman, I have failed. Wait for me. After when I say, Pastor, just take one minute. And I can't give two minutes now. But I'm, I'm ashamed. But take it. It's a good story. I'm ready to take it. So why are they giving me? They are giving me because they don't give me. Because I'm consumed by the vision. I found my company and destiny. So, I'm not poor. I don't sell cars as a pastor to make up for the lost money. I can't, but I don't. My calling is all consuming. I don't have enough time to do my calling because I'm not selling cars to you. Hmm. Instead of selling cars, I write books. Praise God. Mm-hmm. Lord, folks, how are you thinking now? How are you thinking now? Why do you think Nigeria is difficult? Nigeria is not difficult. God allows problems to create greatness. God allows problems to create greatness. The greatness of Nigeria is the problems of Nigeria. The more we solve our problems, the greater the nation will become. If we solve our problems, we solve the same problem for other nations. Don't be so. If you supply power, you will be driving out of a given African country. No. Just supply power in Nigeria. You don't think there's not a power in Nigeria. Yes. Law of thoughts. I can't say enough. Listen to me this morning. You can't rise above your thoughts. You can't live beyond your thoughts. You are your thoughts. They are not becoming your thoughts. You are your thoughts over time. Yes. But how do you think? I was afraid of problems. Well, you know, I spent an extra year, almost three years, listen. I was afraid of problems. I had no brain problem. I didn't have writing problem. I didn't have parental problem. My parents were sad. My siblings smashed. Minimum, all my brothers, minimum is two hours. Same father, same mother, same schools I attended, so they are so problem in my background. But I, I got two too. Spent an extra year. Why? I had a tough problem. 
I didn't know that you run too much risk of them. I was running from them. I thought that if you run, the problem will go. The more you run, the worse it gets. It's called the hostage approach. But, as a man thinking in his heart, what? So is he. By the way, it's a long teaching, but I have to go. You know that. You know what you think about is what you see and what you hear. That's what Job said. I have made a covenant with my eyes. Why should I? So, if you want to change your thinking, change what you are hearing, what you are seeing. It's not a long process. The more books you read, the more you expand your thinking. When you go to do master, whether you graduated with honors or no honors, it's irrelevant. If you just enter class, stay there. After two years, you can't come out the same person. Forget about certification. Whatever about position, whether you can enter class, it doesn't matter. You will be, they will expand your thinking. Listen, I've worked with many people for the last few years, 20 years. Everybody that didn't go to school, they have a common problem. It affects their thinking. Everybody that went to school, they're not higher IQ, but produce higher results. When people go to better schools, good schools, even in government schools, they start reading and understanding. Because teaching and change. Be careful. No education is too expensive. Whether you have money, you don't have money, borrow money for your children to go to the best school. You will pay for money before you die. But you will never regret it. Go to the best schools. Don't compromise education. Don't say, let us manage. Don't manage education. Go to the best schools. Because what they will do to your child and the brain and your people. Do training in the church. It will change people's life permanently. Let's go. What have we done? Law of words, my God. I, I, I skip one. Law of goals. Let me go back. Goals. Law of goals. It's not there, but it's supposed to be there. Listen. Can I say something to you? If you have no goals at the beginning of this year, I guarantee you you have achieved nothing. The only thing you have done is going up and down. When you have no goals, you know what becomes your goal? Problem. Once you have a problem, that problem is your goal. Once you solve it, you are waiting for the next problem. Because, yeah, but when you have goals, <laughs> you write problems to the goal. Problems don't become your goals. You know what is a goal? A dream with a deadline. See, I have my sister there, my younger sister. The older one is this thing. She lives abroad, is this thing, his wife. If he didn't decide to come, he will never be there. If he's when he wants a ticket to come to his doorstep, he's a man, he'll never come. He has to wake up and say, I'm going to see my wife. You don't make that shit, and now you're looking for tickets, they're not going anywhere. People are thinking that you buy tickets when you have money. No, you buy tickets when you decide to travel. You didn't have to very well. People are saying, when I have money, I buy tickets, I'll travel. It's not true. When you want to travel, you buy tickets. You buy the ticket before you have the money, go somewhere. <laughs> because you go to the place and say, hey, sister, that ticket, I really need it. <laughs> you start negotiating. You say, when they pay me, the next six months I'll be paying you. Yes. That's a great thing. If you have the money, some people are wealthy, some people are own businesses that pay for the ticket. But I'm saying that you don't need money to buy a ticket. I tell people, if you live in Umaya, as many of my people do, come to Lagos once in a while, go to Sheridan, one for two hundred and one for two hundred dollars. Just painfully buy the fanta and stay at the lobby and be drinking this small thing. Yes. But as you are looking around, when you leave, you come in the place. Yeah. Yeah. You will see people coming and going, coming and going, coming and going. You will see. Even suitcase you never see before. You will see. You will see suitcase. You say, is this suitcase? This suitcase. You will be going around 360 degrees. You don't go far. <laughs> if you have a you go to the airport, sit there, land, and take off. Your brain will just take off permanently. You can't just stay in one corner and be a local champion. You die poor. You die in this poor. The prophet died. In the jet, what's the word for you? When you're going money, there's a word. Insolvent. Man of God, if they give prophecy, they see a prophet, if they see a vision, if they see a revelation, when he died, he was going money. Because knowing God is not enough. Mm. Yes, you must translate, you must convert the knowledge of God to materiality because this earth is material. Earth is not spiritual, it's material. There's nothing spiritual about jam, it's a material exam. The people marking the paper, they know no God. Somebody is smooth, mark jam. Why do you think prayer will change? Somebody is a power tapper, power drinker. If drinking power, imagine your jam paper. Your English, 
Is it even following the time? Yes, you discover it, but now we are in the house. Well, that's right. That's why you did prayer. Before they tell you, before you tell you, I said, your paper is busy. What? No, what? 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 What are what? They are spiritual containers that carry lie. Okay. I have suffered because of the living words. I have suffered so much that I have learned my lesson. I am not yet where I would like to be, but it's not very easy now to make me talk anyhow. When you are angry, don't talk. When you are angry, don't talk. Bite your tongue. Take a shower. When you are angry, because everything you are saying, of course, because death and life are in the power of God. When you are angry, you speak through your tongue. When you are flattering people, you speak through your lips. When you are knowledgeable, you speak through your mouth. Every time you are angry, now your tongue they talk. And death, now you talk. Because! Let me end it up for you. The Bible says, if any man speak, that means you don't have to speak. Let him speak what? Oh, she will be having a hard time. Let him speak as the oracle of God. If any man speak. If any man speak. Let him speak as the oracle of God. He that is slow to anger is better than the night. He that rules his spirit, that means he that controls himself, than he that takes his spirit. First of all, that's a, that's a problem of the leader. There are people that are mighty. And there are city takers, people that take city. But say he that is true to anger is better than a warrior that takes an entire city. He that is true. Oh my God. Is that not one thing? He that will control himself, manages himself. When he's angry, he manages himself. He rules his own soul. This morning, as I was dressing up, my mother is in my house. She's talking to me. She's talking to me. They didn't If it was before, I would join her. I had last so much. The moment I join her, I'm late for something. Because every time you talk and make mistakes, you have to pray for that for Because you start feeling heavy. So the only way you feel good is that you say, I'm sorry. If you don't say that, I'm sorry. You will be like somebody that is taking shower on this clothes form. Because man was not created to be offensive. Listen to me now. The proof of spiritual maturity are words. The first person in humanity to say I'm sorry is the most spiritual person. The person that says I'll never say I'm sorry is highly spiritual. Because life is spiritual. I'm sorry. If you pray before you say I'm sorry, you're not spiritual. But if you're spiritual, you, you, you say I'm sorry before you actually pray. It's a lifestyle. And if now this thing where I talk will make make a lot enjoy part of the job, I am sorry. I want to know. You don't want your wife to be giving food in anger. He said, my wife. Okay, that can I send you that. Now you're the pastor. You're my wife. <laughs> Bring her there, bring her. Yes. I'm serious. Why do you want to have that feeling? That's right. No. He that is slow to work. Words are so powerful. Be careful about words. The length of your life will remind me the kind of words you speak. He that will see long life and see good days. Refrain from speaking evil. Psalm 34 verse 10. Refrain. People don't die because they were in the mother's death. They die because they believe in death. Some people have died, no blood was seen. Some people have had their brain broken, leg broken. They didn't die. They would say, I am not dying yet. Death. Me and you will fight until you die. He wants to take me before my death. He is in his brain. brain. He had not died before. And I'm not dying now. This head, that dog was so my head, I go leave. And it was. So I go, ah, oh, I'm going to die. They don't die without me. <laughs> law number three. Oh, sorry. The law of time. <laughs> Life on earth is a pause in eternity. We discussed this yesterday. Let me tell you something about time. What you're doing with your time now is what you're doing with your life. If you want a better life, manage your time well. Don't say I don't have a job. If you don't have a job, work without money. Find a lucrative company. Go on the floor. Take me, I will be worship place in this office. If you are doing prospect, if you don't have a company, my uncle will prospect you. You can't stay in the same environment. You see, you're in the gold to run on copper and you're in the same. It doesn't need to you just as it's carrying the bag and going to the airport. 
If you have faith in me, one day you say, I will go to the airport and one day you go to the airport. Don't stay at home. And I don't mind the airport's workshop. Don't say don't in this country, there's no employment. There is employment for those that want to be employed. They may not pay you very well, they may not be paying you sometimes. Get a job! Make somebody! Turn up! Pastor, oh, this is Pastor Mumi Sue. Boy, he says, hey, Pastor, please don't do it like this. Even if you listen to the baby, don't pay it! Just if I can do it, talk to you! You can't hang around him and remain safe. You cannot! This man, there's no way you can run around him and not change. And when you change, you see change. There can be no change until there's change. Hey, what are you doing with your time? If you have a job, there was a season in my life when I was afraid of life. In this Lagos, I was already a pastor. When I woke up in the morning, the things waiting for me don't need to overwhelm me. So I, I would open my eyes a little bit. I closed the door. I said, Hey, Mr. Blake. I'm telling you, I said to God, this walk, this just to be true. I prepared as if the day I don't go through. But God allowed me to go through that place because you need to suffer before you can gain knowledge. I went to a lot of people to talk about you. I was passing a job. I finished meeting. People go outside and discuss in summer. They like to call the meeting. They come to the meeting and they pose themselves on the meeting. I'm the pastor. You know, like you go find your own job. Just go and go and help me smoke. If you don't want to keep it. I didn't know that God allowed me to because I can't be quiet and say that I have to order. I can never pray. I went to become who I am because they became valiant in my life. Out of weakness, they were made strong. You have to be weak before you become strong. God will allow situations in your life to show you weakness. And you cry out for help. The more you cry, the more God will say some way. If you survive the problem, I will say. But that's time. Use your time. Employ time. Don't waste time. If you waste time, you're wasting life. If you kill time, you're committing suicide. Your time is your life because God created time to create life. Time is life. Don't say I don't have job. You don't know your purpose yet. Why are you looking for that purpose? Start selling something. Borrow money. Don't even keep it. Just buy a table, buy a tomato. My work, go and collect one basket. Just be selling the basket. It will occupy you. You may look foolish. Say, but I have degrees. Forget about degree. Forget about life. Buy tomato, be selling tomato. Go and buy, look for what is the season. Start, do something. And then start to learn the trade for those who are desperate. If you are sharp, you won't be for too long. You try to find a bottle. But when you find a bottle, you find that that time will not waste them, that the things you learn will do you well throughout your life. Number four. Sorry. Law of purpose. Purpose. There are three purposes to talk about. There are so many. That's the purpose of the life. Why are you in charge? What's the purpose of the Nigerian nation? Some of the purpose of Nigeria, that's why they lost so. I know the purpose of Nigeria. I can't do something about Nigeria. Nigeria is one of the most important nations as I put the end of time. Nigeria is one of the few nations. They, 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 her name came out of the battle. Acts of it. The J. It's black. Nigeria, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's where they get Nigeria from. Nation of black people. Nigeria is a deliberate, intentional invention by God. Can I say that about Nigeria? Do you know that Nigerian Anglicans, at least, look at this, they repeat that same game again. Don't know few people in the whole world. Do you know the Catholic Church in Nigeria is a very Catholic Church? Okay. They say they don't know the game again. Anglican Church, the same thing. They are pure now, so. The same thing. The matter is, they say Nigeria is a nation of arising people, arising all compatriots. From the national documents, you know the calling of the country. We're calling a nation of arising people. Oh, we don't know our purpose. That's why we're doing. What's the one night we go? I come from Umuahia. There's a young man from Umuahia. I don't know how old he is. He was in the early twenties or so. He did so much cards, um, card fraud in America. He was on the FBI list for more than ten years. They caught him under ten years in Australia. A young man. Do you know how to play the things to do card fraud? They are not computer brain. Do you know how computer brain can do card fraud? They are dealing with number, movement. That's how bright Nigeria is now. Is that they are doing extremely well, but they're doing extremely bad. They're very smart. 
purpose. Nigeria is a religion of purpose. What about you? What's your religion for being alive? Can I say something in my family? Do you know that you are born for a reason? You are not an accident of nature. You didn't just come to this world. There's a reason why you are born. There's a job you will never know unless you find your purpose. What the apostle said, my life is worth nothing. Unless I use it for me, the work assigned to me by God. You can't just marry anybody. And when you marry, you can't marry anybody by it. You can't just be a teenager and you can't marry. If you marry a teenager, you have to go to your teacher. If you marry a teenager, you can't marry a doctor. No doctor is going to marry an individual person. But if you're not educated, there are problems that come in. Go to marry. I, I guess people can marry each other. They don't think I'm going to school there. Yes. But what I'm going to say is that don't marry in your family or school there. Go to school, be educated so that you can be educated, you need to marry an educated person. Because if you marry a place, it will weigh you down. You have to now look for the next generation to bring you. Because a place will weigh you down. Am I coming here? Now, someone say, but I didn't go to school. Well, there is a formal education. If you're in college, it's not going to be ready. No trader is obligated. Because that trade must school without. That's your own school. If you're sending tobacco, now you're in school. Uh, where do you go? How do you sell tobacco? Where do you buy? When do you buy? How do you buy? How do you sell? When do you sell? When do you go back to buy? How do you preserve tobacco? I mean, what about vision? 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 All things are created. If you can see it, you will have it. If you can't see it, you can't have it. Anything you want, see it, you will have it. Did you hear what I said? Anything you want in this life, if you can see it, you will have it. I learned this growing up as a child. My mother used to sell off the market, I used to go by myself. I go to buy the same material. And I see it. I didn't know what to do. They say, This is their power. This is good. I'm a man. I'm just a young guy. I touch it. I didn't know what to do. I go home. When I go to my life, what do you think I see? I'm clear. I'm seeing everything. I could not dress from what I want to do. When I became a Christian, God said, That's the law of the law. Anytime I hear something, if you can see it, you can see it. Law of vision. Recently, I wanted to get my daughter. I don't know how I get the money because I'm doing so many things. I I A 
if they consider it, the man is a man because he has weighed it and feel that this man is. He has weighed me and done like this. It's only men that you see a woman in the rough island. They've been driving behind the woman. They won't know when they lose first time. <laughs> <laughs> they will hit somebody. They won't know they hit somebody. There's only men that can do that. Women can do that. Women can do that. Women cannot do before the man like that. No. Even prostitutes don't do that. In fear, I, I won't forget prostitutes. They don't come with forces people. They wait until the same men have gone through this. They don't know what. Many people are saying, they are the kind of man. They're like, oh, yes. what are you doing by taking here? All these same men, they don't eat dinner. With their wife, their wife is saying, they are sitting in the office. Something is wrong with you. You are our type of person. Come out. I said, okay, we have to go home now. I don't want to. What are you doing by the end of the day? I don't want to. 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 What are you looking for? Lord number six, the last one from the Lord of faith. With God. Oh, peace. I said I want to bread, but it used to be the bread from Sarai. Very expensive. My mother would come and complain. The way you like eating this bread, though. Flour is expensive, but I'll stop buying bread. My father will come to me. Me and my younger brother stop for three months. My father will come to us. We will be eating bread. Nothing will stop bread in this house. He's even the one that will buy bread. My father, there's just a few more. You will never keep your last breath mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Listen to me. You are not a failure. If you have had setbacks, there are setbacks. Every setback in preparation for a comeback. Come back again in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Start that business. Start it. You say when? Now. He that observes the one shall not so. There's no perfect time to start. Start now. The lessons you will learn, remember when you start, you will learn them. Don't do some preparation. Start. Don't be waiting for a perfect moment. There's no perfect moment to obey God. Obey now. Start the business. The man that started the business and the business did not work out can never be at the mercy of the man that has never started any business. They are not in the same class, not in the same category. They don't have the same status in life. When you do something, whether it work or it didn't work, it changes you forever. You will never be the same. Never. Never. You are, it will expand you. It will teach you things that there is no other way to know. My friend, don't be afraid. Every fear in this room name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Be uprooted now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If God can do it for me, I don't know what can do for me, but God took away all my fear. I fear nothing. Before, if you ask me for money, I'll be stammering. I'll call him and say, hey, I'll say, how is your wife? <laughs> go say, I will not go. I don't know, but God uprooted everything. I call him and say, come. She won't need money now. <laughs> But I said, I need money. I'm doing a project with this money. Can you help me? How much can you give? If you don't have a lot of money with you, because a man that is called the Lord can neither be appointed nor disappointed. Hello? If people disappoint you, if they are your source, why should not be your source? If they don't have, they don't have, why are you taking so much? Someone ask me, say, I don't have. They say, You must have. Look at the house, look at the house. I said, I don't have. That is me. What it is that I don't have. Somebody is talking about Hallelujah. My friends, have faith in God. 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 Not be afraid. You will not die before your time. The bullet that will cut your life short will not leave the factory. It will never be manufactured. I decree today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Once you enter a plane, it cannot crash. Amen. God said to me that the moment you're in a plane I'm with you, it cannot crash. Now, does it mean that somebody will be there? Crash, somebody's not with you. No. What you go through, you go through, live alone. Live alone. You will not die in a car wreck. Instead of dying in a car wreck, you will not make that thing in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You will be delayed beyond measure. You will miss the flight. You will miss the car ride. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Brethren, have faith in God. Yes, have faith in God. Have an encounter of like that. Have faith in God. I bless you today. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. My brothers and sisters, have faith in God. Listen, this is not the Nigerian thing. Nothing is impossible with God. If you can believe, all things are 
possible to live. God, who believes God? Listen to me. When you go home today, remember this. Nothing is impossible with God. If you ask anything in my name, Jesus said, I will do it. And the Father will be glorified in his way. If you ask anything in my name, I will do My last thought. John 14, 14. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Then the word if is in italics. Italics, 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 italics. Why? Because Jesus never added it. It was added by the translator to clarify the word he said without changing the meaning. What Jesus said, if you ask anything in my name, I will do. They said, ah, it's not the proper English. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. That's completely mysterious. But what did Jesus mean? Very simple. If you ever in your lifetime have the boldness, and the courage to ask for something that does not currently exist. I will make it just for you. And I'm on. Hey. Hey. If you have the courage to ask, and then they will. you have the courage to ask for a husband that does not exist, I will create a man just for you. The kind of man you dream about. In my kingdom, I'll put it in In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lift up your hands to heaven. Receive a new impetus. Receive grace from heaven. When you leave this room, you won't leave the way you came. You will walk in a higher dimension of faith. You will believe God for this. You will go, look, I have bought many things I could not afford in my life. I said my last point. Let me tell one story. I have to tell of who makes my children. The friend man, he makes all this super well. Listen to me. Do you know how I make the soup? When I enter market to him, to see him, I don't even carry something. I don't even buy him I just ask him, I say, bro, I need soup. And I know they buy one. So we'll go to the market and say, let's go. Um, what do you call it? Uh, warehouse. Let's go to the warehouse. You follow me. Let me know what's going on. So we'll now go. They'll give me. They, first of all, just by seeing, I know the best market. When I visit them, those are the most expensive. They say, yes, because you can see now. He said, people know the buy them. I say, yes, it's better than if you are poor. When they sign the bank, say, oh, God. In the hand, I say, ask, do you have money? Say, I say, do you just collect material? Okay. Or get the material? All the time. You just be so bright. Then you will not negotiate with them. Say, I'll do that. But you know what I did to do sometimes? It won't be long before somebody just keep calling my phone. Why am I saying that it's just material? It's material, that's what's called material. But the just that you need If I want to have money, before I go to a bank to buy material, I won't have more time. If I don't have money, I'm not in a bank. So once I'm near the bank, I enter market. Ah, this is not the human being that I said it. Okay? Look at me very well. Do I look like I am a former? Give me material. <laughs> by the way, if you're just by looking at me, they start copying the material. If I say I don't have any surprise, you can make fun of me. I walk with the man, Pastor Moses. He said to me that this is the way you carry yourself. Nobody can believe that you don't have money in your pocket. So when you say that you don't believe it, so you better be having the money in your pocket. <laughs> My other brothers will say to me, look at the way you are dressed. If they took money in your pocket, what do they eat now? Listen, don't be afraid of anything. Don't go to market. Like, nothing is written on your forehead. Nobody knows what you have. It's from the way you behave. They don't know you are. I went to the airport the other day. I told my assistant pastor, meet me inside. <laughs> and I told the pastor of Tony, you're not the only one. I said to him, you will soon call me from outside the gate. He said, he did not. He called me. I said, why are you saying? I said, why are you calling me? I said, come inside. He said, they said I should not come. I said, how do they know that I'm not traveling? <laughs> <laughs> that same airport, in the last one week, I've gone there three times. I'm not traveling. How <laughs> can you look the way I walk? I can't stand away. When I reach the gate, I just walk fast, briskly. How can you stop? You can't stop me. Huh? Is it this number? I said, I'm not traveling. <laughs> <laughs> when you are sick, when every poor person is not swatched. If you want to know people's problem, you just go to the say, what's it? Anyone looking at you? Not be hungry after all that. Look, sinners that are wealthy, they don't know God. But they have money in their pocket. They want to so much authority. They are so arrogant. They are, they are, it's because of the road that they don't answer with our money. Because of sinners who are rich. Some sinners will say, if you waste my time, I buy it. It's not a can. It's not that they can. It's the level of confidence.
Listen to me now. I'm almost done. My, my pastor didn't enter. I'm right here with you now. I still went outside my side. I collected what he was bringing. But I didn't, I didn't talk to him more. They'll be hearing God's word. When I go to the bank, whether they are closed, they're not closed. You know they close by four. If I enter gate, they say they are closed. I say, is your manager around? Who is the bread manager? Come in for me. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? You have one. I want this gate. That's right. Yes. Then I went to the bank some months ago. The bank collected the ATM. The gate man was trying to say, come back. I said, come back here. I'm seeing three cars. They are going to go I will go home with my ATM. No! You know who I am. Yeah, I don't know. I said, yeah, you know, 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 you don't go anywhere, but don't move. Don't argue. But don't leave. How do you do this? Go.